Hi, I'm talking about. Uh, I'm gonna talking about the uh, uraoshi this time. Uh, the best uraoshi is it's called uh, ito ura. Ito means a uh, thread, and then you know it's just like a thread, just a uh, very fine line all over all over the edge. Even the spine side, uh, tip, and uh, edge side, all over the place. It's just a uh, fine thread. All attached the uh, flat sharpening stones. That's called ito ura, and then the. Uh, And then the, this is a uh, probably uh, push too much on the, this side, the spine side. We should uh, depress the uh, edge side, but it's depress the spine side more. Or uh, we should push uh, bread side tower to the other side and then the push that's a way to make a ura oshi but uh, this might be if something come out like ura side come out like this should might be a pull motion too many times then it's happen or you know using for a long time it's gonna be the both side or the push too much but if we use so many years cannot help unless we make a ura again. So uh, <coughs> my yanagiwa is using long time, so you know it's kind of all it's all gone. The ura side and then this side kind of the edge side a little thick and then you know spine side thicker and then this table is even but. Not itaura anymore, but you know, still good shape. And then this is a new new knife. It's it's look like a itaura all over the place. You know, got the uh, fine stone mark. So it look look like it, but new one is look like this. But uh, we have to make sure it's flat or not. So if flat countertop, if put on that, doesn't say anything. It's straight, straight blade, and this one too. Yeah, uh, using long time. So on the flat sharpening stone. So yeah, it's flat anyway. But but this one, new one, but <coughs> it almost you know straight, but still make noise mean you know might be this part is a little bit crooked and then we have to fix it first and then start uh uraoshi so let's do showing the uraoshi we should uh start If it's new, new knife, uh, make sure it's a uh, flat all over the place. That's important. And then New knife uh, start from uh, 1000 grit and uh, maybe three or four times from the uh, heel side, squeezing the water, not the pull motion. If we do the pull motion, the, uh, it's gonna be like this, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the spine side wider 
if you know always pulling so it's gonna be wider so try to attach the edge part not the mid middle always you know depress the edge side that's important if we press this side and then push of course this side more pressure so this side going to be wider and then not attaching the uh, edge side so make sure it's stable flat and then press the left hand on the edge and then press it one two three four and the same amount one two three four one two three four one two three four we should make it make it you know ninety ninety degree on the uh, sharpening stone not like you know this motion or you know some of the uh, books say make ura like this but it's longer longer flat surface to make it harder and then you know of course you know set the edge on a longer side because you know it's it got curved so we cannot make it this this amount to make the edge all all right now cannot it's this side okay straight but this side going this way means a little bit up so we cannot you know make it one time so this much is much better Keep doing that until uh, all over the place got the uh, straight end. I mean the edge. Make sure to check the edge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's got. I can see the different color all over look like all over the place yeah and then make sure the edge got uh, and the spine all all over the place got the marks sharpening stone marks and then goes up to the fine grit stone Make sure it's flat again. I try to squeeze the water one, two, three, four times. One, two, three, four times. Uh, not the pulling motion, just a pushing, just pushing attaching the uh, edge on the <coughs> sharpening stones yeah, try to make the uh, mirror finish on the ura side all over the edge and the fine thread look like that would be good Ooh,